Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to see how the drag drop PDF builder works in WPLMS. So we have added the drag drop interface for the certificates in the WPLMS PDF certificates version 1.1. So you'll need to update your plugin to the latest version. So after upgrading the plugin to 1.1 version, when you open your certificate template, in LMS certificate templates. If you scroll down you will see that we now have a certificate builder. Now the background image for this certificate builder is the image that you have selected as the background image or pattern. And rest of the controls are same as that in the 1.0 1 version. Also note that when we are building the certificate in the certificate builder the PDF margins will not apply because we are placing the elements directly on the certificate so as you can see I have created this certificate and if we click on any of the element you will see that it opens a raw it opens a panel on the right side wherein I can specify the width of the element, the height of the element, the font size of the element, the color of the element and you can see that all the changes that I apply happen in the real time. Similarly, I can set the font family. So note that these are the font, these are the generic font families which are available in your server, because the PDF generation happens on the server. The web-based fonts do not apply unless and until you have installed them in your server as well. So after making any ch any changes, you need to click on Edit Text to place. To place a new text you can click on raw text and this supports HTML as well. Now to use the certificate shortcodes you can directly copy the certificate shortcode and paste it in the in the section and you can specify some width, height, some font size, color and when you add it it's added on the top unless and until you have specified a top and left margin and you can place it wherever you want okay similarly for the image you can select any image from the media library and add it right and you can edit and you can save the image save the certificate once you have saved if you view the HTML mode it will show the HTML mode of the certificate and you can regenerate the PDF version to test how it looks in the PDF and here we can see the PDF version So right now as you can see our images with transparent background are appearing as white in the background. So one thing we need to make sure while embedding the PNG images which has transparent background is that is that when we upload the image and when we select the image for embedding 
we need to select the size which are provided in the media pop-up because when we resize an image for example this image has been resized the image loses its background transparency for embedding PNG images with transparent background we either create the image which has the exact size for the embed or we can embed from the choices that are provided in the attachment area so after embedding we can save and when we regenerate the PDF certificate and view it 